Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Improv Gaming. Here, on part two, we will be discussing... What are we discussing? Who cares about that? Well, at first, what we need to talk about is... May I introduce, to my left, my far, far left, that is, not okay. this guy, all the way over here. He is only the biggest Zelda fan in the world. If you don't believe me, check his right arm. He has a tattoo of the Triforce. Right there. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Mr. Bird. Are we I have doing? nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. How are we doing this evening, ladies and gentlemen? And to my closer, but just as significant left, <laughs> he is Mr. I'm Always Wondering himself. I'm wondering how awesome this HD is. It's pretty fucking awesome. Who is? The HD. Oh, the HD is great. The HD is wonderful. I get to see your face. You don't, oh, you don't and, look black anymore. And beautiful HD. I'm not black anymore. <laughs> I've never been black, <laughs> according to them. <laughs> that was, that's a little behind-the-scenes joke. You, you realize that the fans are probably going to come and be like, Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, he's not black! Racism! What? <laughs> and I am your host with the best ponytail in the business. It's fabulous. <laughs> Mr. Nicholas De Jesus. I want him just to fall <laughs> through the table. Ba, 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 ba. It would my life so much oh, more god. entertaining. <laughs> Today we're discussing Pete's What Should You Play? Pete, take it away. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> I feel like we're at the 6 o'clock news, and now time for weather. <laughs> it's partly cloudy with the chance of... What's up, guys? Oh. Madden is my game, why you should play it. But wait for my review, and then you can decide. I already did, too late. Go. <laughs> Let me tell you about some Madden. It's every year, everybody knows what comes up. But I do like this year's installment just a little bit more. They added some new things. Um, I'll get into a couple of things. Let me start with Jeff. Draft champions. What happens here is you go into this draft and you choose. Do you like to run the ball? Do you like short passes? Do you like long passes? Your play style. You choose that play style. And then you have a whole bunch of category, uh, players to choose. And you want to choose somebody who fits your style. For example, I like the deep ball. So they're like, you have a choice between... You like deep balls? I I'm just going to say, I'm like, is he going to nut nut with it? I like the deep ball so I can cradle them close to my chest when I run with the football, you know? He loves deep balls. Um, so it gives you a choice, three three players. Like, I had a choice of um, Philip Rivers, I had a left tackle, and I had a wide receiver. Out of the three... Philip Rivers matched my stats the most, so I chose him. So you would now have Philip Rivers as your quarterback, and then it continues throughout the whole thing. You have 15 picks, so you go get wide receivers, you get defensemen, whoever best is in your team. So I ended up with um, Foster as my running back. I ended up with Philip Rivers, Larry Fitzgerald, you know, Odell Beckham, like a stacked lineup that all fit to my needs and then you play three games and then you're done and it recycles so it's a cool little thing and then each level you you can't lose you have to win all three games but it starts with rookie and then if you beat the rookie computer you go to pro you beat pro you go to all pro if you beat all pro you're the champion of draft you get ultimate team packs for ultimate fans where everybody knows ultimate team you choose packs you make the best team you can make andrew locker Aaron Rodgers, who was a rookie, you built him up to be the star. You get these players. So you get ultimate packs. So the draft champions is a way to consider to continue a, a new mode. Of course, for people who watch me on Twitch at Improv Cap, um, there's Connected Franchise, where me and some of my buddies, we do a season. We do a draft. That's back. It's nice because it gives you kind of challenges to do. Like my quarterback's Andrew Luck. I have Larry Fitzgerald as well. I have uh, yeah. Randall Cobb, and it's like, oh, with Cobb, you need to get 60 passes for this year in order to get 800 more experience points. You know, and then big plays, they give you confidence on the field. They give you all this stuff. So it adds more to the connected franchise. It's much more cleaned up. But the gameplay feature that comes back is last year they worked on defense, where it was a big adjustment where you can break tackles and just go rush the quarterback. This year, it's all about the long ball and the passing. And you have three choices. If you choose to, you can still use the computer to be a choice. But you have possession, where you can just have the ball drop down. And then 
very hard that it will fall out of the player's hands. He'll have it secure. You also have run after catch, so RAC. So you catch it, and then you can run, but there's more of a challenge of getting knocked out, the ball getting fumbled. And then there's aggressive, which is the real deep ball, where you can send it up, and then if you're aggressive, the player jumps for it. Nice. But it ends up being that's the hardest one, because you can... I was playing... Um, in the connected franchise, and the gentleman was going, the computer was going for a aggressive hit, and I took out his legs, and the player flipped three times, and ended up breaking his collarbone. He's out for the season. Huh? That's the risk that aggression plays, and you don't want to do it all the time. So it's that risk and reward factor. You know, if if you're playing as Odell Beckham and he's halfway across the field with nobody around him, of course you're gonna go for oh, that yeah. big spectacular catch. You know, and in the catch, it's in the game, it's good because certain players, you know, Odell will go and reach one hand and grab it when, you know, others would not be so inclined. Uh, Andre Johnson would be more to keep it to himself. So it's definitely much improved from last year, I feel. You know, the defense is there, obviously updated graphics, team roster, you know. But I feel like they added just enough in order to warrant another $60 purchase. Really? Yeah, like I said, it brings in the Jeff Champions, which is nice. You know, the Connected Franchise. Like I said, the Connected Franchise, it's the same stuff. You do drills and everything, but it has, you know, trade deadline is this week. You know, playoffs are this week away. You know, this is the standings. This is what the players are, you know. If you're playing as Andrew Luck, do you want to try to get a touchdown as soon as possible? It adds to his confidence and credit. I'm very good with Andrew Luck because he's my type of quarterback. So I have 99 confidence because I know how to throw the ball, you know. I've thrown a couple of interceptions, but... Even with Tom Brady, you get 100%. Yeah, no, 100% <laughs> Tom. Yeah, no, the deflated balls. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no one cares. Nobody cares. Everybody knows that the Saints are where it's at. Bullshit. Even, but I yeah. tell you, Seattle is a... I played a Seattle. Jesus Christ, that team is... Vicious. Vicious with Jimmy Graham now and all their stacked players and Marshawn Lynch. What about what about somebody like me? How can you sell me on this game? Do you watch football? No. No. As soon as, 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 as he says no, that's it. Conversation. The, like, look. I love that you love it. I didn't say but, I love it. Well, I love that that you like playing those games, right? You like playing sports games. But for somebody like me, like you know, for Metal Gear Solid, like they kind of change things up a little bit, and you got kind of a new taste of things. So, Madden, have they changed anything up a little bit so that then maybe I might actually be inclined to play? Let Is there me... some kind of excitement that's been generated in the game that maybe would, would bring me into the into that genre? Like I said, the, the gameplay strikes it. You mean, like, this is big for receivers and everything? I mean, it's big stuff. I mean, you have just... How can I put it? Like, the... To see it is so much more believing. Like these big catches that you have to be aggressive, you know, and jump up and you get that satisfying catch where you could be down and just chuck it down and your receiver can get it. And it's just that more... I, I'll give a perfect example. Last year, I play a Madden every year because I do the Connected franchise with my buddies. And Madden 15, I was dreading to do the, to, to do the match. Oh, come on, P, you have to play week six, you know, because we have to advance the week. I was like, all right, guys, you know, we're going, we're going. And it just didn't thrill me as much, you know. And then on the backside of this year, I got Gears of War Ultimate, which has been fantastic. And we will be having a review discussion on that soon. Um, and, I'm, and I'm doing Gears. I'm like, I have Gears. I have the Master Chief Collection, which I do multiplayer in, you know. I've been, I did the Let's Play of the... Call of Duty Beta, which I think was gorgeous, and I was saying that. Check it out on YouTube.com slash Pro Gaming. <laughs> um, but for me, I was just like, you know what? I want to play this game again. Not because it just came out, you know? It's a last... Like, when it, once the NHL 16 comes out, it's going to be a toss-up because I love me some hockey. That's next week. Is it? No, it's in a couple weeks. No. It should be the 16th. No, it's next week. I checked it. Look at that. Anyway. anyway um, but, <laughs> I mean, it just it makes me want to play. And here's Gears, who, 
you know, quick little thing on it. You play Gears of War Ultimate. If you play the online from now until the end of the year, you get all th four games of backwards compatibility. You get Gears 1, 2, 3, and Judgment, you know. Okay, so what does it have to do with football? I'm, I'm getting to it. <laughs> I'm Jesus just, Christ, he's talking about eight other games. No, I'm just saying about the Gears Ultimate Collection. And it gives you value. It's a gorgeous game, you know. I'm going through with my buddy to play the campaign. And I've enjoyed it, but it's the game I've played. Same thing you can be said about Madden. But the thing with Madden is, I'm just now, I'm texting my group text of the guys who play Madden. I'm like, is the new week up? Is the new week up? Because I just can't wait to go home and play. Because it just, I feel it's more engaging. So, that leads me... To my verdict. I was going to say, before your verdict, I had a question. What is your question? For a player like Nick, who doesn't really play sports games, is it simple to play? Is it complicated? What's nice is, and what I like, every, every time Madden does an intro video to show what's new and everything. So what they did is they had Super Bowl 50, which was the Steelers with Ben Roethlisberger and um, Palmer with Arizona Cardinals. And you played. And it's this big match feel where the Steelers are down and you have to get and come back. And there's this cinematic flair to it, like a, like a cutscene, cut you know. And then it throws you in and it's like, okay, you're going to do the aggressive catch. And then you send it down to Antonio Brown and then you learn how to do the catch, you know. And then it shows you a tutorial, but in a fun way where it's okay. easy to learn, you know. And then the nice thing about Madden is it has that skill trail uh, trainer. Where you can hone on your skills. I was terrible at defense, you know, and I just I keep going and I learn the best way to tackle certain plays, you know. So it has that thing where it's like, okay, you want to just focus on running, you're gonna focus on running. You want to focus on, you know, defense, you're gonna focus on defense. You know, it's more of an engaging game. When 15, I feel was just it was their first time on the new console, really first developing for the new systems. So it was kind of thrown together and everything. But I feel like this year, it's like anything. You need a couple of years for the console to really yeah. be flushed out, which you can agree. And I feel like they added enough. Like I said, the draft champions is great. It's quick. It's easy, you know, which is something good for you because you could dra draft a whole team, you know, legends are included. Um, you know, at the end, you choose a legend like Joe Montana, stuff like that. But you can play, and it starts on rookie. So you can test yourself by saying, am I getting any better? So if you win in rookie, you know you're better. So you start playing on pro. Once you be pro, okay, I'm getting better. You play all, all pro. Then you're like, all right, now I'm really getting the hang of it. You know, it's just with anything, takes time. Is, is the sports game for everybody? No. And that's why I say this game is definitely, for me at least, a trade. Okay. It's not a buy. If you're a football fan, great. But you're not going to want to play it past January, February. Once football season ends, it starts to wind down. What happened last year with my guys and what will probably happen again this year, by December, you know, we always back-to-back-to-back to back to back connected franchises, went through seasons, through seasons. But as it turned and continued, it got slower and slower and the weeks took longer to go through. And a season that took us a week, week and a half tops, was now taking a month. And that's the time where I was like, okay, January's around, there's going to be a whole bunch of new games. Like this past year, Dying Light came out on January 27th. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, I could put Madden towards it. And I got 35 bucks back from GameStop. So that's more than half for a game that was out for four months. Yeah. Which isn't too shabby. No, not too bad. And then you, you trade it in. You put it towards something like Uncharted, which has been announced March 17th, 2016, is the release date for Uncharted 4. And for Deus Ex Human Mankind is... February 28th, Don't please let me know if I'm correct in the comments, but I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> uh, but no, I think it's a, it's not something where you would rent to get a full experience, get your buddies together, get a nice group of guys for football, play the connected franchise, play online, you know, it's not worth, it's enough where it warrants definitely just a trade-in. It's not something you would buy and have on your shelf like a Metal Gear, but it's something where you have it for a couple months and then you're done. Same thing could be said for, you know, an HL coming out or, you know. I just think that it's enough to warrant definitely giving it a try. All right. It's definitely worth cool. it. Cool. Definitely worth the $16. 16. dollars 16, 16, dollars $16. I'll take, I'll take six copies. <laughs> I'll take six copies of $16. What did you guys think? Did you 
agree with me on Madden, or you said, this guy is just out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, they probably think I am. Um, and I don't. I don't. I, I, I can respect people that play the games. I just don't understand it. It's like I don't. I haven't played Madden in like 10 years, so more likely I just watch you play and then be like, all right, let me get on, in on this. I probably won't buy it, but... Yeah. Like I said, I will be twitching a lot more of Madden on twitch.tv slash improvcap. Also, I, we have a Let's Play on the channel at youtube.com slash improvgaming where you can check out gameplay. It was the first time I played the game, so you could tell, you know, I've played Madden before, but you can actually see me playing the first time, seeing the kind of aggressive and the receiving and the possession carries and how that is. I showed you a little bit of draft, uh, draft champions. Definitely worth checking out. Like I said, definitely a treat. Oh, um, Pete says it's a good game. It's a good game. It's a good game, definitely. <laughs> it's, a, it's probably a phenomenal game if Pete says it's a good game. He has it's, good taste in video games. Like I said. And I'm you a, guys already know that because you've been watching. Yep. And knowing <laughs> you have the power. I wanted to try to see if I could fit in Gears of War, but I don't think I can. I think you already did. <laughs> I did not. Well, there's more to Gears of War than that, but check out Gears of War. I definitely say buy Gears of War. You play, you get the Gears of War 4 beta. This oh, is going to be me in one oh, minute. Well, hold on, I want to oh, do this. God. Do we have a timer? I think, I you've, I think you've plugged this. I think you've plugged this like 30 times already on this channel. No, I want to do <laughs> Do we have a minute? I want a minute on the clock. Let me see. I'm going to go through this in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see if we can do this. I'm going to try to get as much as I can get out of Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Gears of War. You, you go to clock, you get it. Yeah. How's your yeah. clock oh, button? How's my clock? There we go. Clock. Timer. Here we go. All right. Tell me when to start. Start. Oh, wait. I have to use stopwatch or timer? Doesn't stop matter. Watch. Stopwatch? Stopwatch is fine. Oh. Tell me no, when. I have to. Here we go. Ready? Set? Go. Gears of War Ultimate Edition of $40 right now on Xbox One. If you play it before the end of the year online, you do get the backwards compatibility of Gears 1, the original, Gears 2, Gears 3, and Gears Judgment. All backwards compatibility for free to play. You also get the beta of Gears of War 4. You get all this package for $40. It's a great purchase. I mean, the game looks stunning. There's 90 minutes of extra content in Act 5. So you got 90 minutes. You got skins from Gears of War 3. You have all new... Multiplayer modes, you have all 19 maps. Awesome buy. Definitely check it out. I say buy Gears of War Ultimate to add to the collection. Make sure you play the online before that, though, so you get all the collection. That way, it's actually like the Master Chief collection where you get all the games, but you do it where you can get the old 360 games, but still, they just as good, and you can have it when the Xbox One does backwards compatibility. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, game, game on. on. Game and on. that was, that was six, six seconds. seconds last. Six seconds. <laughs>